the vice presidency. It's America's assistant manager. And today, Joe Biden announced who he's picked to be his VP. Late night hosts are chiming in following the news on Tuesday that Joe Biden named California Senator Kamala Harris as his official running mate in the 2020 election. During his latest episode of The Social Distancing Show, Trevor Noah acknowledged that Harris is the first black woman to compete on a major party's presidential ticket, which he called a great moment for her and for America. Say what you want about Joe, but the man went black and he's not going back. Over on The Late Show, Stephen Colbert acknowledged that Harris is not only the first black woman to be competing in this position, but she is also the first woman of Indian descent. So Trump's gonna have a hard time deciding exactly how to be racist about her. He went on to call Harris a surprising choice given her interactions with Joe Biden during the Democratic debates. She hit him so hard he was spitting teeth like chiclets all over the stage. Jimmy Fallon also addressed Tuesday's news on The Tonight Show, noting that Harris is the daughter of two immigrants who went to Howard University and is a Democratic senator from California. That's an inspiring story. Unless you're Trump, then it's a Stephen King novel. The comedian went on to say she's only had the job for a few hours, but Kamala is already gearing up for her debate with Mike Pence. That's why she spent the entire day arguing with a mannequin at Kohl's. Over on Jimmy Kimmel Live, guest host Sarah Cooper kicked off her monologue by announcing that she would not be the next vice president of the United States. It was down to me and Kamala, but Joe wanted to go with someone who has experience. To see more on what late night hosts had to say, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.